happy Vlogmas Day 19 and today I wanted to do a old but a classic what is on my phone video. I've actually never done one of these so that'd be kind of fun if we sat down and did one and also getting out of bed's really really hard because my foot hurts. If you guys don't know I fractured my left ankle trying to leave a restaurant. Ma slipped, have a hairline fracture. Um, it's not as swollen as it was earlier. Um, definitely doing better, definitely on the uprise, but uh, it has not been a fun few hours. <laughs> the past 24 hours have not been the best. But I definitely am like, the swelling's gone down immensely. Um, the pain is like non existent, so. We're, we're doing good. We're doing great. Um, so honestly, I think this is like the best video for me to do. Uh, but yeah, this is my phone. I have a uh, Galaxy. I am uh, an Android user. I am not the biggest fan of Apple. I uh, haven't had an Apple since I was nine. I'm 21, so it's been a long time. I currently have a uh, Galaxy S21 Ultra. I don't know why it's named so extra um and yeah i've had it for years it's actually as close to pay off so who knows maybe i'll update it before it pays off i don't know and then on my phone case it's just a vlogmas 2022 phone case from uh, nicole leno's website that i got on black friday this is my lock screen it's just a cute little hello kitty don't touch my phone moment because i think i, I love those kind of lock screens yes. um is my main screen. So I just have this red glittery moment. Um, <laughs> and then also I have like the basic ones down here on like, I guess what's called the dock, which is like my alarms. I have a lot of them, don't ask. <laughs> I have contacts and then I have my messages. Obviously the only person's ever messaged me is my mom because, yeah. And then the first little folder you see here is the one that's titled me so these are kind of like my go-to i have my camera uh youtube my gallery patreon youtube music google emails marco polo crunchyroll and centurylink obviously um obviously my gallery is just you know a bunch of photos that are um like not important i guess <laughs> patreon i follow people on patreon and I use Crunchyroll because it's probably my go-to source of entertainment outside of YouTube. Marco Polo I just use for, my, for talking with my friend Brooke. Um, Central Link I feel like is kind of self-explanatory. It's the internet service that we go through. Uh, YouTube music and all that. Obvious. So yeah, this one's not that entertaining. It's just basic things that I use. After that is all of my social medias that I use. We've got Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, Hulu, Twitter, Netflix, Facebook, Poshmark, Pinterest, Reddit, LinkedIn, Bitmoji, Spotify, and HBO Max. Honestly, guys, you guys should follow me on Instagram. I have, like, some of my highlights. I don't have a lot of highlights. I just have when my best friend, Brooke, was in town, uh, my graduation from college, a P.F. Chang dessert moment that was so epic, um, and then time at the museum with my friend, Brooke. Uh, so, yeah, but I just obviously I post... A bunch of different things and we have fun um i probably want my go-to ones next to my tiktok and i i love tiktok i genuinely love tiktok i have fun on there too um obviously you guys should go check out my poshmark i do sell stuff so you guys should go check it out if you ever see clothing that i wear you should check out my poshmark because you might see it on there eventually I also use Pinterest a lot. I actually really love Pinterest. Um, I, it's kind of like, I feel like it's like Instagram, but a little bit better. <laughs> I don't know, I really like Pinterest. Uh, yeah, and I, I honestly think I use Hulu the most. That and Crunchyroll. Like my top two ones. My Facebook is completely private. It's only for my close friends and family members. I barely use Reddit. I I don't even know why I have it. I don't use Twitter. I don't really like Twitter. Um. So yeah. 
<laughs> and then after that we have personal stuff so i mean i guess this is just like more private based stuff that like i'm really i'm not gonna open any of these apps um so we have flow which if you don't know what that is it's a period tracking app uh notes for life through six uh life through 60 because my mom and i and my dad like to track each other when we're out and about so you know we kind of know where each other is or if we need any assistance um we have step so step is actually a banking service that i use um uh, to help me with financial uh assistance budgeting all that kind of stuff it kind of helps keep track of like what i spend and when i spend it how i spend it how much i spent how to budget what i have what are things and how to budget like what i need to take care of and um it's like it's like a virtual financial advisor or financial assistant um at the touch of a finger and it i'm not the best with money i'm not afraid to admit that i really 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 suck with money so i need all the help i can get and i have so far found that step was the best platform this is not sponsored by step but if they'd like to i'm in i've been using you guys for a long long time again not sponsored but i just highly recommend them for like if you're just getting kind of into the whole banking world yeah um the dmv test man uh master i have a set of course washington state which is where i live uh so yeah your girl's trying to drive i have bumble i forgot that was on there um hashtag single life <laughs> you know you would think as somebody who is bisexual and likes men and women that dating apps would be nice because i have more options because i like both sides of them no no one won't no 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 not at all <laughs> i don't feel like it would have changed if it would have just men or just women i feel like it wouldn't have changed let's be honest no one really wants me so <laughs> But yes, I have Bumble. It's, I don't like Tinder. Tinder scares me. Then I have Cash App, and then I have the LG ThinQ um, app, which is what connects to my television. Um, yeah, I forgot Bumble was on there. <sighs> Trying to get myself a girlfriend or a boyfriend. I'm open to either one. Uh, either way, I love you. Um, and then this is my work folder. So I have the YouTube Studio. I don't care if you have 20 gazillion subscribers or two subscribers. I feel like if you have the YouTube Studio app on your phone, it just helps so much with like tracking your analytics and um, editing uh, information like uh, your description, your thumbnails, if you're on the go and you have to do things through your phone. Um, if you have to film on your phone or anything like that, I just feel like having that app is so, so nice. Then I have Vidma, which is my f personal favorite editing or phone editing software um i have the audio library youtube studios for copyright free music patreon work because i am starting to dabble in doing patreon work um camera connect so if i ever want to edit on my phone which i do a lot i will film on my camera my g7x and then i'll just edit on my phone and that helps me connect my camera and my phone together so i can transfer files and then I have VA style work because I have a voice acting channel. So, yeah. Um, and that helps me get really cool pictures and thumbnails and things like that. So, yeah, that's like my work one. And then I have one for fast food because your girl's a fat ass and Mrs. Fast Food. We don't have any fast food restaurants out here in the country. The closest form to fast food is about 45 miles away. 45 minutes away. Not miles. Oh my gosh. 45 minutes away. I don't get it very often. But this is from back when I used to live in the city. I had this. So I have the McDonald's app, Dutch Bros, Chick-fil-A, Uber Eats, Starbucks, Domino's, DoorDash, and Postmates. <laughs> I think the one I use the most is DoorDash, to be totally honest. And then those were like my go-to restaurants usually. I used to have so many more. Domino's is the best pizza place. Fight me. Um, I prefer Starbucks over Dutch Bros, but I have both. Chick-fil-A, I love it. McDonald's, probably like one of my favorite fast food restaurants. So, yeah. 
Um, pretty self-explanatory on that one. Next, I have all of my like shopping apps that I use. So I have H&M, Sephora, Booking.com, which is for hotels, uh, Regal, which is the cinema that is just in my area, Walmart, Amazon Shopping, Nike, Victoria's Secret, Hollister, Forever 21, Adidas, Target, and Chewy, which I use, of course, for my pups. Uh, this is all like my favorite stores to shop at or anything like this is kind of like what I would use to buy um Christmas stuff this is just this is what I browse when I'm looking for items to buy um yeah I feel like that's what I'm so I feel like the ones that I go on the most are probably Sephora and Chewy because I love buying my pups items and my pups literally have a stocking for Christmas and Sephora because I'm always needing new products. Next, I have my photography folder, folder because obviously I went to college for digital media and I love photography. So I have the app Snow, Background Eraser, Layout, PicMonkey, In College, College Maker, and Tune Me. Um, if you guys are really, really into the recent trend of people trying to make themselves into, like, generated AIs, uh, TuneMe is a really, really good free app that does it, and I've actually gotten better results than some of the other apps I've seen people use. Um, it's one that I like using. I feel like PicMonkey, everyone knows that, but every YouTuber starts with when they're making thumbnails. I feel like a lot still use it. Um, but yeah, I use kind of a combination of all of these for my thumbnails. Um, and, well, I don't use Toomey. Toomey is just for fun. Uh, yeah. These are just what I use for, like, thumbnails, Instagram photos, uh, or anything along those lines. If you want a whole video on how I edit my thumbnails or how I do any of that kind of stuff or how I edit my own videos, I'll happily share. And then the last folder are the my go-to games. So I have Steam, uh... Meta Quest because I have an Oculus, Dead by Daylight, uh, Little Nightmares, Human Fall Flat, Hogwarts Mystery, and Pokemon Go because I was also into that trend when it was happening. I haven't opened that app since the pandemic, so it's kind of irrelevant. I used to play Raid too, Raid Challenges, but I kind of quit playing that game as well. Um, Steam and Oculus I probably go into quite often uh, just because I have steam on my phone and on my pc and then i also have an oculus quest too so those ones i feel like i just use a lot just in general the other day light i prefer the mobile version over the pc version little nightmares it's actually not a, the game i have the game on my computer and on my switch um it's actually like a fan app so all the different like all the fans who are really really into the series actually hang out there um human fall flat obviously that was like a fun that's a fun dumb game Hogwarts, hello, Ravenclaw, and then Pokemon Go. Yeah. But I actually have more games back here. Mm -hmm. But yeah, honestly, that's what's on my phone. It's nothing too crazy special or anything too different, I guess, than everyone else's. But uh, yeah, those are kind of like my favorite apps, what's on my phone, different things like that. Um, and yeah. I hope you guys like this video, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. But until tomorrow, bye!